Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to episode 24 of Civilization 5 on Emperor Difficulty and playing as Portugal. We have managed to uh, recover a little bit from the mess I made very early on. Now managed to take out both Palenque and Tikal, so um, the mines only have one city left, which is Chichen Itza up here. I believe we are currently still at war with them. No, we did actually manage to peace out, that's good. Uh, I have no intention of taking Chichen Itza. It's not a strategically located city, although it does have access to... A fair bit of oil. I don't think that I'm necessarily going to need that right away. So not too concerned about that at all. I see we got us a little bit of energy there. A little bit of health. Who are they? They're currently allied with Arabia. Uh, by how much? 19. Maybe we can, uh, we can steal those. So the next thing we definitely need to do is to try and take Egypt. I don't want to leave it too long because they already have three out of the six civilizations influential enough to be able to get a culture victory. It's going to be a very long time before they're able to get a culture victory against Arabia though. Because Arabia actually have such a massive culture pool. So if we just go to Egypt, yeah, they're not just... They're, well, they are exotic and they are rising slowly. Um, but um, they're almost influential with me. Because I have very little, little culture pool here. So, and they're already dominant with Korea. So Egypt are going to be a very, very big problem. I also have uh, Klauswitz's legacy active. So I obviously want to make the most out of that before it, uh, it, it expires. So I don't want to wait too long. We do seem to have a slight technological advantage in some ways because we do have uh, infantry whereas Egypt only have great war infantry but I'm assuming that will change very very shortly. What I would like to do though before I do actually go to war is finish railroad that would be quite nice. Uh, it would be also nice if we could get into radar and actually get the bombers. It's a long way off though unfortunately. The reason I really want to get the bombers is because if I put my great war bombers into Cull, they won't quite have the range to reach Thebes. So we'll be completely reliant on our artillery. It might be what it comes to, but it would be nice if we could get close to the bombers. I'll give it a few turns and see how I feel about that then. Another thing that I would like to do, of course, is also get the city-states that are close by on side, because it would be, oh, being denounced by Korea, it would be quite nice just to have these guys, uh, Leventa and... Um, Bagata on my side. They're probably not going to be able to do an awful lot in the war, but it would certainly help to distract Egypt a little bit. We definitely want to take Thebes, and hopefully we'd like to take Memphis as well. They do have something in there. They have a triplane. Only a single triplane, though, so it's not, uh, it's not everything. Now, the big problem is I just don't know how many units Egypt have got at the moment. And it would be nice for Tikal to come out of resistance so we can annex it. And use it as a slightly better forward base. There's only one turn before it comes out of resistance. So that is not such a bad thing. Um, we do have... Uh, it's at full health now anyway. So what I might do is take these great war bombers and just rebase them all over here. And then hopefully, once we uh, get radar, we will be able to upgrade these to bombers. But as I've said, that might be a little way off. Uh, I've also got some cities working on the international games as well. Uh, project is 5% completed and we have contributed 300 and to production. So we need 720 production or more to get the silver medal. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Now, getting the 100% uh, percent might be difficult, but considering we've uh, we've only, we've put in 302 and it's only 5% completed, we may be quite able to get that. We'll certainly go for it. I don't really need to be producing a lot of stuff right now, and I do have a good number of cities, which is certainly going to help things out. We do need to get a couple more archaeologists uh, going as well. Uh, we have that worker. That worker has finished whatever it, it was doing. We do have another worker, I believe, heading down... To come and fix some of the stuff over here, potentially. Um, and we're going to have to start building railroads soon as well. So what I might do with these guys is I might actually send these guys up to Braga. Because then... Do I want to do that? Yeah, I'm going to send these guys up to Braga and they can railroad from Braga to Gao. Uh, I don't need to build railroads between Braga and Lisbon and Porto because they're coastal cities and they have harbours. And harbours count as roads until you discover rail. When you discover rail, they then do actually count as railroads. So that's not too much of a bad thing. Yeah, there's still quite a few antiquities sites around. We've got this one here. 
Uh, it's too far away to do anything other than um, make it into a great work, so an artifact, so we can do that. Uh, that will have to be an artifact. One, two, three, that will have to be an artifact. But there are at least three antiquity sites all within range of our cities. Four, actually, if you count this one. So that's four... Um, artifacts that we can potentially get which would give us a little bit more tourism i mean obviously i'm not going for a cultural victory because i don't really stand a chance in doing that but it would certainly help and i'm just being insulted and teased by all of the different ais it's not such a surprise now, Arabia did go to war with Polynesia a couple of episodes ago. They took a chunk out of them. They took one or two of their cities. It certainly weakens Polynesia quite a bit. It's put me up to third in the score. Hopefully, once I take uh, Ramses, uh, well, Thebes and Memphis, we'll be um, second, possibly even first, because there's quite a few wonders in, uh, in Thebes. Um, Arabia is building up uh, a na uh, for a naval attack, but it doesn't say on who. Now, that could very likely be me. It's most likely going to be Polynesia, I would have thought, because we are technically friendly. As we are friendly, could I potentially get you to declare war on Polynesia? I could. He wants a fair bit to do it. Aluminium, oil, horses, iron. Would you accept eight gold per turn? Yes, he would. There we go. So we've just paid Arabia to go to war with Polynesia. That's good because it means that they're not... I mean, that's maybe who he was going to attack anyway. But at least if they're fighting each other, they're not fighting me. And that is a very good thing. Uh, Porto has finished its research lab. So we will put it into the international games. We'll try and get as much out of it as possible. Um, currently 21% completed. So there's been a lot more production put into it this turn than there was on the last turn. And we're at 5, 6, 7. So we're definitely uh, going to get ourselves a silver. But it would be really nice if we could go and get the gold. So we've got a few more units just moving down to the front lines. Can't really see where Egypt's units are. No, there they are. They've brought them back. I was just about to say, have they gone off somewhere to uh, deal with another war somewhere else? But uh, no, it appears that they've um, still got a few units around. Haven't upgraded these to great war infantry yet. I can see that Levent has actually got some great war infantry, so... It would be quite nice to actually get these guys on board. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing it until I get at least the silver on the international games because that gives us a one-time increase of 30 influence with city-states. So it's well worth waiting for that until we actually start spending any money. 40% complete. We've contributed 921. So there is still a possibility of actually getting the, um, the gold, which would be nice for the free social policy more than anything else. Uh, we've got this worker here. You're just going to sit idle for a turn or two just until we get the uh, railroad completed and uh, we've got a couple of great engineers we've got one sitting here in Braga and we've got one in Lisbon I'll probably use one to try and can we rush build Neuschwanstein anywhere I guess Coimbra is the only pl uh, place that we could has Neuschwanstein already gone uh, let's have a quick look no not world congress diplomacy overview global politics um, you don't have it you don't have it, you don't have it, uh, you don't have it, you definitely don't have it. Do you have it? No, you don't. So, I don't think anyone actually has Neuschwanstein, so what I'm going to do is take this guy from here and bring him down to Coimbra. It'll only take a couple of turns because of the road system, but that should mean we can rush build Neuschwanstein, which would be very nice. Um, you, have we got a plantation there? No, not yet. That's what you guys are going to work on then. Cargo ship. Let's put that back. Oh, not city name. Highest gold, please, and thank you. Um, I guess you can... Where were you going before? I guess we can send you to Chichen Itza. Slightly more, uh, more gold for that. We do still need another cargo ship. So we do need to get that at some point. As soon as we finish the international games, uh, we can go back to um you know working on things that will actually be useful to us in the uh, in the plight against egypt so 
Yeah, but you're just they're not happy with... What did we propose? I can't even remember what it was now. Obviously, I made some sort of proposal in the World Congress that people weren't... Oh, historical landmarks. Yeah, people weren't too, too pleased with that, but oh well. I think it's a little bit late to start worrying about what the AI factions think about me. So, let us see. Uh, you're still going to wait for another turn because Railroad has not yet completed. Uh, you guys were just moving towards the front and you're doing a fine job, so I shall let you carry on. Let's hit next turn for that then. So this will complete Railroad. We'll be able to get our workers to start build, uh, working on upgrading all the roads to Railroads. And hopefully we will be able to build Neuschwanstein. Yeah, we'll carry on with that deal because I've got spares and it's all extra gold in the pocket. Making 107 per turn, that's not too bad. Especially as we're paying 8 per turn to uh, Arabia to go to war with Polynesia. Hopefully that will uh, get us somewhere. That great engineer has actually arrived in Coimbra, so... We will definitely rush... There we go, discovered railroad. Yeah, so much tourism coming out of everywhere. I'm like 7th on the list. It's pretty, pretty terrible. Right, okay, so we've got railroad. Railroad is good. What are we up to? 81% and we've put in 1,571. It, max is probably going to be about 2,000, so we may well get it. Now, Neuschwanstein, 20 turns. It is uh, 1,060 production, and if we pop the Great Engineer, it will, he will give us 660. It's not a huge number, to be honest. So I'm just going to let it try and hard build for a little while. Are we on production focus here? 20 turns. Still 20 turns. We're working the factory. If we go ahead and work the workshop and the windmill. Still 20 turns. Not a lot of production here. But I've got... Could I build it in any other city? Gao's too far away from a mountain to be able to build it. Takal doesn't have any mountains. Palenque doesn't have any mountains yet. Coimbra is the only place that actually has a mountain close enough to be able to build it. So I've got to go for it. But I don't want to waste the great engineer now. Only for someone to beat me to it. So I'm going to leave him there and let it try and hard build. Uh, you guys are going to construct a railroad there. You're just going to sit tight until Neuschwanstein is a little closer to being finished. I've also just remembered as well that Tikal should be out of resistance now, so I should really go over there and go ahead and build a courthouse. Now we've got railroad as well, we also get an additional trade route, so that's two more trade routes that we need to build. But the international games will be over soon. 91% completed now. So as soon as that's over, we can just go back to our sort of normal build priorities. Peace treaty has expired with Pakal, but I don't think that's going to be a problem there. So Tikal is out of resistance. We're going to go ahead and annex the city. We've got 10 happiness. That takes us down to 6. Uh, but then what we are going to do is we are going to build a courthouse. And then that will sort of get us back up. Um, unit needs orders. You can stay there for now. We are going to have to attack Egypt relatively soon. You can move to the front and go and repair that. On to the next turn. So I'm fully expecting that the International Games is going to finish very, very shortly. Yeah, there we see. Look, Egypt have actually got uh, infantry now. It is quite possible they already had the tech. They just may not have had the coin to um, upgrade them. So we're on a little more sort of level pegging now. It's a difficult position because I do want to bribe these two city-states to be on my side during the war. At the same time, I'd also like to be able to upgrade my Gatling guns to machine guns. There we go. We did actually complete it. And we only just beat Egypt as well. So we get um, plus three happiness, which is very nice. We also get another plus three happiness and 30 influence with city-states. And we get our tourism double for 20 turns and a free social policy. That is is fantastical so what are we going to take in here we are going to take uh let's have a quick look and see what we could get here well all we could get is a level one tenant um low capital natural order spy steel technologies yeah none of this stuff is particularly useful right now 
Uh, let's have a look. What else would be useful? Gold from harbours, seaports and lighthouses. Great scientists are earned faster. We are still behind on scientists. I think we do need to start trying to complete rationalism. A uh, lot of pop-ups here. Mostly city-states, of course, because of the influence changes. Uh, Egypt uh, has now become, uh, I assume that's uh, influential with me. So they only need two more cultures or two more civilizations to get that win. So we do have to be very careful here. I did queue up some of the... Um, or the buildings that we were part way through in some of the other cities, just so that they would finish. Uh, what are we going to do over here at Gao? I guess these one-turn temples are probably worth getting while we can. A police station in Lisbon certainly seems like a good idea. Um, let's go ahead, though, and get the odd cargo ship and the odd archaeologist sort of in between turns, because we do need to get these as well. Uh, Braga, you can go ahead and give us another archaeologist because you're only going to take two turns. Now, you guys have turned upon this island. Now, I think you were heading over to Hanoi. Yeah, you were, weren't you? So, you guys get yourselves over here and we'll build another Fatoria. So, how are we doing now with these city-states? Leventa is friendly. Bogata is also friendly. 18 influence there. When do we, or when do we, get machine guns ballistics? So. Oh, no, not you. You. If I give you... Because you still have that gold quest. So if I give you 500, that's fine. You're now my... Um, you're now my ally. It would be nice to get Leventa. Is Leventa where I actually have... Yeah. Could I coup? 0% chance. 8 turns to rig elections though. So it's worth leaving them there. How long is it until we steal tech? 63 turns. It's probably not going to be worth it. Uh, let us move you to somewhere else. Potentially. Damascus maybe? We'll see how long it takes you to steal something from there. Uh, you guys have got that stone connected up. You may as well go and get that pasture. I have no idea why the AI didn't get that connected up. That seems a little bit uh, a little bit silly. But we'll move on and do that. Now, at least we have artillery. For some reason, Egypt still seems to be using cannons. So I may possibly be able to take them out. I would really love, though, to have my bombers. Polynesia lost its capital. So it looks like Arabia may well um, completely decimate um, Polynesia. Of course, that is meaning uh, Arabia is getting massively uh, ahead in terms of score. But obviously, with now, a lot of that influence that made us friendly with city-states is now sort of just uh, eroding away. So we're... We're losing that. So what have we got here? We've com we've completed the seaport here. Uh, we don't even have a monument there. So we definitely need to get one of those. There's quite a few things you actually need. Let's go ahead and um, just open the production queue here. So we've got a monument. You're definitely going to need a granary. A shrine would be nice and most probably a lighthouse. And then we'll come back and deal with you after that. Lisbon has finished the cargo ship. Let's go ahead and get the, get a police station. Not that we're really having stuff stolen from us, but it would be nice to make sure it doesn't. Another antiquity site up here as well. We are going to need a fair few of those uh, archaeologists, aren't we? You finished the temple. That is fine. Stock exchange. Having money is never a bad thing. Uh, unit needing orders. You're going to come down there now and build the next part of the railroad. Because that will increase production. You guys are going to build a pasture. And this cargo ship. What is our most profitable trade route? 36 gold from Chichen Itza. Yep, let's go ahead and do that one. So we still need one more um, cargo ship or trade vessel from somewhere. Um, you would still give us 660... How much is remaining of this? Doesn't really tell us. We need to get it down to about halfway. About 12 turns, I would have thought. When there's about 12 turns left, then it's probably going to be worth it. Um, so, another five turns. If no one's beaten us to it by then, 
And we'll see if we can do it. You can't get over here because they've got too much junk in the way. That's fine. Sit there for a turn and then we'll see if we can move in. On to the next turn. So yeah, we're going to need to get uh, friendly with Leventa. We've also lost Quebec City as well, which is a little bit annoying. Don't really want to be spending all of my money doing this. Although we are making a decent amount of gold. But I am trying to concentrate on some wonders and buildings that will actually increase my economy. Because it's very nice being able to bribe city-states. You may fall slightly behind on some of your other buildings. But the additional sort of food and culture and faith that you can get from the city-states is really good. Right, you guys have managed to land there, so that is fine. Uh, what do we have here? We've finished the courthouse, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and finish that market, because there's only one turn left to do so. Finished an archaeologist here. Uh, we can get one more cargo ship, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this archaeologist... It says there's an antiquities site there, but I can't see it. I thought we'd got all the antiquities sites. Maybe there is one there, then. Apparently there is. Didn't even notice that one. So it's going to get rid of the farm, but that one's right next to the city, so we'll actually be able to turn that one into a uh, cultural site. So, we, uh, I think we've got another archaeologist being produced. Yeah, so there's one. But how many sites have we got? There's one site up there, so that's one, two and three, four, five and six. So we're going to need at least six archaeologists. That's actually quite... Daunting, but we should be able to do that. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, doesn't mean we'll need to get a few museums up and running as well. Do I have some money to throw at some of these city states? Probably. You, you right? Plus one. Okay, fine. Go ahead and have five hundred. You're allied with us again. It's just helping that I can sort of keep my eye on where the Egyptian units are and what they're doing. I'm not sure they're at war with anybody right now. I probably can't get him to go to war with anybody because he doesn't like me. And there's nobody close by that I could probably get to go to war with Egypt. Possibly. Possibly Korea. Korea doesn't like me either. But do I really want Korea to be able to take Memphis? Not really. Although it would lose half of its population. And most of the wonders, I believe, are in Thebes. I'm going to be taking Memphis at some point. Because I do need to head out north if I ever intend to try and take um, Seoul. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. So just out of interest. Now you are guarded. So it's very, very unlikely that you'd be willing to go to war with anybody. Would you be willing to go to war with Egypt? No. Doesn't appear to be interested in that. Um, just for the sake of completionism. Well, he's actually neutral, which is quite odd. Would you be willing, by any chance, to go to war with Korea? No, doesn't seem interested in that. Okay, well, it was worth checking. So, Tikal has finished its market. Definitely get a monument, because we need the culture. Not that it matters, because obviously Egypt's already influential with us, but it's, it's always worth trying to do that. Um, let's get out a few more archaeologists. Um, you can get out another archaeologist as well. You're going to build a Fatoria. Uh, with this archaeologist, you can go and work your way over to that one because it seems to make sense. It's, it's closest to you. Uh, what else do we have? Cargo ship. Let's have a look what our current best trade route would be that we're not using. So trade routes available. Uh, by ship, Braga to Leventa would give us the highest gold. Well, we're already at Braga, so... Um, 22. That's not right. Did I misread something there? Was I not paying attention? Trade routes available. Oh, it's because I haven't sorted by highest gold. Derp. Um, Porto to Medina. Okay, so let us uh, rebase you to Porto. And we'll do that on the next turn. Speaking of the next turn, let's go on to it. Just realised that this video has gone on for way too long, so I'll just wait until the AI's finished processing all of its moves, and then we'll move on to, well, the next video, I guess.
Another Polynesian city has been captured by Arabia. So that means that Polynesia now have two cities left. They've got this little tiny city down here, which I'm assuming Arabia will just go and walk over without too much of a problem. And they've also um, started this little troll city down here next to me. Um, which is interesting, because I could certainly just go down here and wipe them out quite easily. Not actually allied with um, Antana Navario and Florence anymore. Still... How are we doing with Mbanza Congo? Very good. We seem to be well out in front with those as well. Uh, they do want a trade route, though, which maybe we should do. Um, yeah, if I get too much trouble from Polynesia, I can wipe them out quite easily. Monument has finished at Tikal. So let us go ahead and... Um, I think we're actually going to go for... The stable here, because we will have a couple of pastures. So that will help things out a little bit, give us some additional produ production here. Certainly useful when it is on the front line. Uh, you guys are going to go there and build another railroad. You guys have repaired that, so... I guess farms aren't a bad idea. It might be nice to come over here and build a mine, actually, because then we'll have a little bit of additional production. That cargo ship we can now send to Medina. For maximum monies. And that is the end of the turn. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you are still enjoying this game of Civilization 5. It's nice that I've pulled it back from the brink. But still got a long way to go. Going to have to attack Egypt very soon. So thanks a lot for watching guys. And I'll see you next time. Until then. Goodbye for now.